Hey everybody, I'm Dominic Armato, dining critic for AZ Central, and if you ask the folks who've been following Stephen Jones's career how they feel about the larder in the Delta finally getting its own home, they will tell you it is about time. Fact is, Jones had way too much talent to be crammed into that little counter at the former DeSoto Market, and now that he has his own space, he's starting to seriously stretch his wings. Now for the uninitiated, the larder in the Delta swings southern influence creative fare with a little bit of Arizona and Chicago kind of thrown in for good measure. Now, the new space is a little quirky, the service can sometimes be a little awkward, but for the most part, Jones's food is killing it. Old favorites like the buffalo cauliflower and Hoppin' John remain, but man, I am geeking out on dishes like the catfish dip served with a pickled celery relish that plays like a refined Chicago jardinera and thick slices of dark brown bread that are charred to black on one side. The kush, when it's on the menu, is outstanding. Soft, heavily spiced delta tamales with corn husk crema and a bright green mole. Tender alfalfa smoked parsley root is just fantastic with a nutty salsa verde and some Benny Strusel. And Jones's garlic shrimp served with more charred bread atop a mound of broken rice saturated with this tart hot sauce is just flipping outstanding. Overall, the experience at the larder in the Delta isn't quite as polished as it could or should be, but all that goes out the window when you are buried in some truly outstanding food. I'm giving the larder in the Delta four stars. I'm Dominic Armato for AZ Central.